So in the series of learning Python programming language, the previous video was about randomization. We have discussed random module, how to generate random numbers, integers, floating numbers and all, right? Now, based on that, we'll do one coding, coding exercise now. Uh, it's like virtual coin toss program. When you toss a coin, then you will get either heads or tails. So same program will write and then you will tell the user uh, heads or tails. Now, what you have to assume like uh, zero means tails and one means heads. So simply generate a random number either zero or one and based on that you can tell heads or tails. Simple program is there. I hope you got this. What is the problem statement, right? Now pause the video and try this program. So I hope you have done this. Now let's uh, create a new file and uh, it's coding exercise 11. Right. So simply first of all obviously you have to import random module. Right. So in this case now generate a random number between or you can say either 0 or 1. So what you can use for that? What function? Rand int we can use. Right. So how you will use that function? The module name dot the function is rand int and just provide the range 0 to 1, both 0 and 1 are included, right? So whatever it will return that we are going to store suppose in a variable, any variable uh, like uh, we can say side, side of that coin, right? Random side or side, any variable name you can take A, B, C also fine X, Y, Z, right? Now obviously you have to put some condition if 0 then tails otherwise heads. So we can put some condition like if this side equal to equal to suppose 1. It means you can simply print heads. We are assuming 1 means heads. Else I hope you are familiar with this if else because we have discussed this thing how to use if else in Python. Otherwise tails that's it this is the simple program right now let me just run this and see this time you are getting heads again heads this time you are getting tails right and if you want to print the side also then uh, here you can print like uh, if you want to check print side let's run this see side is one that is why heads right one again heads one same you are getting so it is possible that you can get more than one time same now this time see tails zero and tails right so this is the simple program so in the next video we will see one more coding exercise that would be a little bit complicated than this one so now we'll see in the next video till then bye bye take care